Double the Happy Tuesday Kent Senior Trophy <laughs> Quarter Final Football Rob Watcher Watcher indeed Watcher Yeah see look it, it, it's, it's infectious it, It's around SE28 it's The only thing that is infectious At the moment That and, and the biting wind well, we, well, 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 I, well I'm no longer infectious You've got over your cold um, And we've got over the hurt of Hilltop For today's game Yeah uh, let's hope this is a cup competition that has everything going for us. Um, yeah. And to be fair, you know, we, sh- we should we should we have a good chance of doing well in this. Yep, yeah, a reasonably a prestigious tournament um, in the sense that, you know, a lot of teams take it seriously. It's a very respected trophy. Um, current holders are Punjab United, who, which we went to. Who, who made a big deal about it. And are ab- still too, making a big deal about too right, it. Do you know what? Too rightly so. Absolutely too rightly so. It's in their clubhouse nicely. So, you know, it's, it's a competition, again, that a lot of teams this level take seriously. I don't know who has put on um, American Boy uh, at the moment. <laughs> Because you control the music and you ain't pressed no. anything. Nothing to do with me. I'm just going to make sure it's not mine, just in case it's accidentally come on. Yeah, absolutely. No, no um, it's definitely not me. Okay, well, I think soon maybe one of us needs to press stop. Someone's just walked past us with two pints and a Coke. You've read my mind. Vodka and Diet Coke. Vodka and Diet Coke, absolutely. That can be for the, uh, for, um, the driver yeah. <laughs> later on. Um, but, yeah, so we come here after, after a lot of cancellations and frozen pitches and bad weather due to a hurricane. I don't even know what letter we're up to at the moment. And our last game was, unfortunately, the Hilltop fixture, as we say. We're looking to bounce back, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. And, um, and this is a game that's very winnable. Um, it's an opponent we know. Um, and, uh, and, yeah, so, so the, I'm, I'm not worried about it at all. I think we should be able to do the job. What I'd like to see is a nice, simple, easy, everyday 2-0. Uh, yeah, maybe, yeah, indeed. Nice, a nice, easy, everyday 2-0. Well, the visitors of Snodland Town today were still playing while the whistle's gone, while American Boy's still playing. So I think someone needs to turn that off shortly. Um, we're, um, we're who we drew with one. <laughs> I love the way the game, the music's still going. Um, comments from Katie. Katie, are you a fan of um, American Boy while the game is playing? Not really, no. <laughs> you, you just don't like the song or the fact that the song's playing? I can see Mackenzie having a dance. Is he? No, I'm, I'm just joking. Oh. People can't see what's happening. Anyway, thank, thanks for your comment once again. Yeah, oh, Woody, Woody's not a fan. He's made us turn it off. Um, so, yeah, so there we are. Um, as we said, with the Stodland result last time we played these away, it was one or at their place. Um, with an absolute flurry of red cards from memory. Yeah, it was an eventful game, uh, both on, on and off the pitch. Yep. Um, and then there was the, uh, the pitch invader. Yes, the less said about my three-year-old <laughs> who, who decides to join you. But at least he's keen. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. But yeah, no, it was a very an eventful game. Up. Let's hope this is slightly less eventful other than uh, the, the, the mighty red men putting the ball in the back. Of the day. Mighty red men. And as always, with the show, we will check in with oh. um, anything that happens. And that was a very enthusiastic all oh, for a cross that ended up going well wide. What do you think, Clem? What do you think the score is going to be? Um, Probably, like... One or two one era. One one nil or two one era. Yeah, so there's going to be a goal in it. Rob one said two all. nil. One all. One all. So penalties? Do we think? Let's hope not. God, I hope not. We not did do very well on penalties time. last time, didn't we? Anyway, so as always, we will stay. With, except for Mackenzie, I have to say that out loud because someone there is a fan near him. He did well in the penalty shootout. Um, aside from that, we will check in if anything happens up the Dockers. Seven minutes in. What do we think? Uh, it's a bit bitty at the moment. Um, you, know. you like that word bitty, don't you? Yeah, well, it is. It's 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 it's, uh, it's got no flow at the moment. It's all just you know a little bit of little bit of couple of passes here, couple of passes there. Not much connecting it all together. No. Um, but that's as much to do with the you know it's not it's as much to do with them as it is to do with us and then breaking things up and all that kind of stuff. So. You know, yeah, well, we're, we're, we're only a few minutes in, so there's plenty of time in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I don't think long balls up in the air in the wind like this is going to help. Yeah, no, but saying that, though, a long ball over the top there. Tom Ash has turned, run back, brought it down in midair, flicked it back over his shoulder and then cleared it. No, it's, so, it's, so that's not too bad, no, no, to no, be fair. No, taken in isolation, it's quality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if it before and after, it was shocking. But no, uh, well, well done, Tom. Throw it now on the left-hand side to Snodland. Goes up. All flicks on there by the Snodland attack there. Played back into the midfield to 15. As a shot, and it's blocked and into the hands of Mackenzie Foley, who does incredibly well and makes it look so effortless, as always. 
laughing at? Nothing. Yeah. It's as if we've got the fan club giving us scalding looks every time we dare criticise anything. Well done, Mackenzie. We'll ring the engraver, get it on the player of the year trophy already. Um, it remains nil-nil here of town. Tell you what, Robert, that wasn't a million miles away, was it? No, uh, a million, not a million miles away in the wrong direction as far as we're concerned. Yeah. But a um, uh, uh, loose ball in the, middle of the, in the middle of the pitch and from just inside the centre circle, one of their players hoofs it long and it very nearly drops over the head of Mackenzie Foley and into the goal because he's standing too far out. But, you know, then again... Shh, the fan comes nearby. Yeah, the fan comes nearby. But, 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 you know, to be fair, you have to... Hats off to the guy for seeing the opportunity. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He, I think he's the only one in the ground who did. Yeah, and one <laughs> thing I will say as well, I've got to comment, congratulations to the groundsman here who's decided to go back to the... Uh, go back to the 80s with no centre spot, but a big line. <laughs> Which is what you imagine you can see from um, things like Royal Rovers magazines. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but, no, it's... Um, yeah, it's been... A a little bit of a bitty uh, opening 10 15 minutes, not a lot's going on apart from that long shirt. Yeah, thanks. And yeah, it remains nil nil. There, I cannot believe that there was a mistake at the back by Snodland where the defender basically played the ball to James Dyer and he, he, was, he, he was through, through. he was clean absolutely through clean through. The Beat the keeper, all ends up and against the post. We are talking in absolute buckets of space, yeah. And I'm talking about he probably could have had a look up, decided what he wanted to do, done a couple of kick ups, and then and do you know what? To be fair to him, the keeper was beat. Yeah. Keeper was well beat. It was a, it was a well placed finish, but it just it just bounced off the post, which is really, really unlucky. Um, and somehow that is a, if you're snodling, that is a huge mm. let off, absolutely, absolutely huge, humongous right? let off. And yeah. and do you know what? We like Darren this show, top player, great. Fantastic season so far by the, by the number seven. Really, really stepped up from you know the promise of, of pre-season and the start. But he's got to score there, and he knows he knows he's got to score there. No, absolutely. It, 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 the, the only person who, who's, who can't believe it more than us is him. Yeah, and, uh, exactly. And, and the Giants. Yeah. Yeah, and the only thing I, I say is let's hope he can shake it off and uh, yeah. you know not 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 dwell on it and carry on. Yes. Oh no! And now, um, now Ryan's just booted the ball into the back of Vladic's head. Um, Harry Taylor's now got the ball, tries to play a through ball, and he's just cut out by the defence. Big header by Tom Ash, huge header by Tom Ash. Back up the pitch to the front line, and now he's just bouncing around in the midfield. Yeah, we, oh, good step over by the ref. Um, <laughs> we have to, we we have to hope, as you say, Dyer's Di too good a player. Um, to not get a chance and not put it away we just have to hope this doesn't dent his confidence a bit which uh, do you know I think it might do a little bit let's just hope he shrugs it off yeah as I say I, I, as long as he shrugs it off carries on playing and uh, we can laugh about it yeah. we can laugh about it at the final and then, and then you know yeah we can laugh about it. We can all have a good laugh about it when we're in the semis. So, um, yeah, and the ball's played through to Snodland. Fantastic tackle by JJ there to keep him out. Ball now on the right hand side for Snodland. He cuts back inside past JJ into the penalty area onto his left foot as a shot. Held by Mackenzie Foley, who's dropped it. Oh, held it and then dropped it, should I say? And now, oh, blimey. Little three of ten. Snodland still on the ball, playing it back into the midfield space now. Playing it down the line. And, oh, yeah, good clearance there. And Harry Taylor is absolutely chopped down from behind there. Um, we'll Siving let, tackle. Siving indeed. We'll, uh, we will let this go now, but blimey. For not a lot that's happened for the first 20, 20, 20 minutes. There's a lot happened in the last no, five. No, no, no. Yeah, so much I struggled to talk. Nil-nil. <laughs> Tell you what, it's been a, um, been a bit of a shaky couple of minutes there, Rob. Yeah, there's, uh, they've been in on goal three or four times. It's a, just a good job they can't finish. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it just? Because if they had a finisher, uh, we'd be in trouble. Well, McKen Mackenzie had one at the near post. That, um, Mackenzie had one at the near post. That he, he sort of palmed away and saved quite well. And they've just had a shot there that was deflected um, after cutting into the penalty area from their number 10. Here with Tan now with a corner on the right-hand side. But apart from that chance from Dyer, the chance has been few and far between. We have a parent of a uh, goalkeeper of our youth team. What do, what do we think of the game so far, young man? So far, the keepers are doing well. And that's uh, what I'm watching. Clearly, um, a parent of goalkeepers. Yeah, he doesn't absolutely. care about the 20 of the 22 on the field. Uh, corner comes in from James Dyer to the near post, and it, uh, yeah, and it's dealt with well by Snodland. Iritan still in possession. Ladic on the ball there, trying to shake his man. He back, looks to play the ball back. He plays it back to Jay Joe's in acres of space. And now we can think about building this up. Back to Mackenzie Foley, who has a good look up. Big kick with that left foot of his. 
and it's into the midfield, headed uh, unchallenged by Snodland there. Yeah, it's getting a little bit scrappy. I don't think the conditions are helping, because every time that ball goes up, it just either holds up or just travels because of the wind, doesn't it? I'm nudging you. Sorry, all... yeah, no, I was watching the game. You're absolutely right. Every time the ball goes up in the air, it stays still or else it travels for miles. Um, Thanks for noticing. Uh, yeah, um, it's almost like I've got one ear on it all the time. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I just, I, I just, I, it's that thing. You're struggling you know, to get going, isn't we it? We say this all the time, but don't keep going it long. Baby. Keep it on the deck. We're better when it's on the deck. We play better when we play it on the floor. And these con- weather conditions are such that we should be playing it on the floor because it seems ridiculous to keep not playing it on the floor. But, you know, what can I say? Absolutely. I don't make the, uh, I, don't, I, I don't do tactics and I don't move counters around the board and all that kind of stuff. So, exactly, you know. exactly. Magnetic pieces of plastic around the board is what other people are paid to do. It remains nil-nil here at the Stanmore Stadium. I tell you what, I, 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 think, I think the ref just got us really out of trouble. It's great refereeing, refereeing with vision and foresight. Uh, yeah, to, to, I commend that kind of refereeing. Yeah, I'll tell you what, to, to comment that Snodland take a quick free kick, which they're actually perfectly entitled to do. The 11, possibly one of the best, I'm not even exaggerating, probably one of the best touches I've seen at non league football this season, <laughs> brings the ball down on the outside of his foot, completely beats the Earth Town back line, stands about, what, 12 yards out, is about to shoot. Oh my god, they need to score. He's about to shoot, and then the ref pulls it back for the free kick. And then just at that moment there, from the free kick that got pulled back and everyone moaned about, they've nearly scored. Yeah, it's a little bit of a melee. Uh, nobody seems to know where they're supposed to be where they're supposed to be or what they're supposed to be doing. No one seems to have a man to pick up. I, I don't know what's going on with it. Yeah, but, I mean But it's been it's been a bit of a mess in the, in there, but luckily they don't have a finisher. Yeah. Well the players have got their positions, you can see. You can see um, Ryan and JJ there, you can see Tom Ash out of right back, you know, you can see all the players where they need to be. But Snodland seem to be finding space quite easily. Considering we've got a structure and how we want to play, you know, like we've got one sitting in front of the defence there, James Dyer. Yeah, we're playing four one four one. Yeah, but that's what I'm but <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. Considering we're packing in midfield, they're finding a lot of space. Yeah, they are. And the, the the thing is, is we're packing the midfield and they're going around the outside. Yeah, and we haven't figured that out yet. Because what, yeah. good what we haven't done is, is what we haven't done is figured out what to do in game. Yeah. Jake Lovell now with a cross from the right side comes in Snodland again easily dealing with it and play it out from the back and again build their attack again and this is what and that's a long ball over the top oh JJ just gets hank on it now the 11 runs through he beats Ryan and JJ slots it back across the middle shot away deflects wide for a corner I'll tell you what I'm, I'm, job, ain't got a finish do you know what I ain't slagging off Snodland they should have scored there that, 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 that. you'd be better if, if you're their manager look you can but see but I've had two or three of them They've had two or three of them so far that they should have put away. They haven't. If they had a finisher, we would be in big trouble. Um, we'll stay with this corner now on the left-hand side for Snodland um, as we approach 20 past eight, so about 30, 35 minutes played. It's getting quite windy, so apologies to the editor who has to try and pick my voice out of this. Um, Snodland and the plane as well. That's always a nice one, isn't it, being this close to City Airport. Uh, the seven on the left-hand side is about to take the corner. He's now calling the player into do something, I suppose. It comes in from the left-hand side up high to the far post. It lands and then is cleared by Air of Tam. Ref gives a free kick to Air of Tam. It remains nil-nil, but yeah, we need to we need to pick ourselves up somewhat. Yeah, we need to get a grip of this game because at the moment um, we are second best at most things. Yeah, and if it wasn't for Mackenzie Foley, that's all I can say. Nil-nil. Describe that one, Rob. Uh, Not Keith... too loud. <laughs> Keystone Cops there. Yeah. Uh, Mackenzie come out to uh, to to kick the ball away and uh, completely missed it. Uh, ran right past it. Uh, don't know what was going on there. Um, uh, uh, they crossed the ball in. There was a melee. Uh, I don't know what was going on in the middle there. I don't think anyone did particularly. And then uh, uh, and uh, it ended up with uh, Mackenzie running back to his goal line and then almost scuffing into his own net before gathering it and then JJ uh, hoofed it away. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, it, was a, it was a bit of a mad one. Uh, let's hope we never see that again. No, no. <laughs> no, we won't ever see that again. Moments of madness. We're going to call that Haley's Comics. because we'll only ever see that once every 80, years, every 80 years. Exactly. That is the confidence we have in our number one. Mackenzie, if you're listening, don't do that again. Nil, nil. And finally, the deadlock is broken. And uh, it's here of town, so yeah. we're uh, somewhat delighted. Yeah, we are. We are very delighted. Absolutely. Uh, Good finish there. Describe the goal, Rob. 
uh, ball come in, uh, Harry Taylor nodded it down. Jake uh, did very, very well to gather it, beat, they beat the player across the ball in. It jiggled around a bit in the area and Ollie Milton just walloped it in past everybody. You know, you one of those, um, you know, when in doubt, kick the ball in the back of the net and we'll talk about your options later. That's what we like to hear. But yeah, so again, you could argue was it, it's, it's been a, a rather even half leaning slightly in Snodland's <laughs> favour, to say the least. Um, Snodland will feel hard done by, but ultimately it's, it, it's finishing at the moment. If I was Snodland, I'd be going in half time gutted. Yeah, that 11 would never play for me again. No, I'm only joking, 11, if you're listening, you've had a good game so far. But no, ultimately, yeah, it, 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 this is a case of taking your good chances and finishing. Good time to score just before half time. Um, goals make games, as we know, so we'll see how this goes. We'll just give um, Irith the confidence to get the wind in their sail a little bit and go from here. Um, and yeah, it, it's good now. Snodland are the ones chasing the game. Will we see some gaps appearing at the back line? A whistle goes for half time in what, let's be truthful, was a very very iffy half but it's 1-0 at the moment to the home side and uh, another big 45 minutes to go up the Dockers we're back for the second half Rob we certainly are it's getting a few more people here but then the under 18s have just yeah, finished training say, the under 18s have just finished training it's all kicked out uh, so uh, suddenly the, uh, the, the stands are twice as full yeah exactly exactly which is always well, good nice. You know, hopefully yeah. a cheer will go out, be a bit more uh, ooh in an eye. Yeah. And we still have the uh, parent of the under nine goalkeeper here with us at the moment. Still enjoying the game, sir? Yeah, I'm excited for the second half now. Yeah. The wind's calmed down a little bit. Good first half? Great first half. Well, I said great first half. Great for me. Yeah. Watching from up here. From, from here. It's in, one, one nil. In the warm, watching what, our what team. What more can we ask for? What, what more? We could, ask for, we, could, we could ask for another goal, maybe. Let's see if it delivers this half. Absolutely. Well said. Well said. That, that was very... I'll tell you what, why can't we talk like that with that husky northern accent because we're not husky and from the north exactly yeah we're not huskies either absolutely not but rough r- 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 rough indeed um, Snodland now with a ball on the right hand side throwing it in um, just in front of the dugouts and then it's out for another Snodland throw I'll tell you what, should we take this opportunity to talk about some of the community aspects of what we've got coming up why not uh, particularly uh, the walking football the walking football indeed um, yes it's now off the ground it will be from Fridays starting on what date was it the 1st of Feb 1st uh, of Feb oh Snodland have just absolutely funded the bar they clearly don't care about walking football <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, interrupting my karma there. Um, Mackenzie Foley was well beat there, shot from distance at the edge of the box, curls in, and you could, uh, I think the crossbar yeah, still yeah, rattling yeah. from that shot. Um, and yeah, again, Snodland would be thinking, how have they not equalised there? And um, if Adam Woodward wasn't bald, he would be now. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, all his hair would have fallen out had that flown in. It would have been a worldie if it had gone in, to be fair. Yeah. Anyway, walking football. But yeah, walking football. So, um, so, yeah, we're setting up walking football here because uh, it's a good thing to do. Um, starting February the 1st, uh, I think um, if you're... If this is your baby, so you... you, you yeah, you kind of. It's just like, you know, if, you wanna, if you'd like to get back into the game, but you're a man of a certain age and the idea of bleep tests and, uh, and running up and down a lot is, uh, is a bit beyond you these days, then walking football could be the thing to do. So, um, basically, come along, have a little kick around, have a little walk around... Uh, Maybe uh, maybe uh, get yourself out and about, meet some people, have a laugh. Um, go for a pint afterwards. Go for a pint Friday afterwards night. as it's Friday night. Um, and yeah, maybe maybe get a bit of exercise at the same time, uh, get your steps up, all that kind of stuff. Um, and it should be good fun. Um, it's here at the ground. Um, so, so yeah, so, so, so Sporting Club Thames meet at Bayliss Avenue from Friday the 1st of February, mm-hmm. 8 o'clock till 9 o'clock, walking football held by Town. If you are interested, do not email info at irifftown.com. Who do we email this time? Uh, no, I would email walkingfootball at irifftown.com. Um, because uh, that would be the place to send your email to because they are the people dealing with it. Absolutely. So it's something as a club we're very excited about. As we know, um, Area of Town want to do a lot of community work uh, with with the area and um, people of Thamesmead, Area of Woolwich, Plumstead, etc. Um, father of the under nine goalkeeper, would you be interested in something like walking football? Uh, yeah, yeah. What's, what's walking football? It's football where you walk, sir. Don't be sarcastic. Sounds like my type of sport. There, there we are indeed. So, uh, w- w- would you be here from eight till nine, roughly, Friday? Even if-
Michael does, of course, mean Friday the 2nd of February. From all around the country, as we spoke to a northerner. Um, so, walking football, Friday the 1st. Michael does, of course, mean Friday the 2nd of February. Lovely stuff. Well, indeed, up the Dockers. I've just realised, after all that spill, Friday's the 2nd of February. <laughs> that's a laugh, isn't it? Yeah. So don't come on Friday the 1st of February, because that's next year. But you can come next year as well. Uh, <laughs> but I would start coming this year on the 2nd. <laughs> Good segue. Friday the 2nd of Feb. Let's put asterisks up. Don't, don't, don't come on the 1st of Feb, Tom. Because it won't be it, it won't be on. That's how this match is going, really, isn't it? Yeah, not 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 the way we want it to. But second of Feb, second of Feb, what day? Yeah, I, I would get the editor on this one. Yeah, let's hope the editor can put some sort of siren or alert out. up the dockers. Second of Feb. Final disclaimer: the email said from the first Friday in February. Hence the reason we go wrong. Should we just ignore this first for the February the first thing? Oh, for God's sake, it's nearly pancake day. 1 0. Here of town, not having as many clear cut clear cut, clear cut, clear cut, clear cut, clear cut, chances, clear cut chances. Um, but they are getting a bit more progressive in Stodland's box, I feel. Yeah, I think the, uh, the the fact that we're going against the wind has meant that we're playing it on the floor more. Yeah. Uh, and that's what we should have been doing all the first half. So yeah. we're, we're, but we are getting in and we are getting chances. Yeah, yeah. No, not great ones at the moment. Yeah. And, um, and, and whereas, it'll come. Yeah, and whereas I think where um, Snodland at first were, you know, getting through us quite easily, they're now struggling to break us down. So uh, I think... Harry Taylor currently is now being told by the referee he needs to come off because the ball just smashed him right in the face. Um, and I'm not sure why the referee is making him come off, really. There doesn't seem to be any blood. There doesn't seem to be any issues. The referee's talking to Adam Woodward here about something. I'm, I'm guessing it's Adam's reaction to Harry Taylor not coming off. I can only guess. Yeah, but the trainer didn't go on to uh, the physio. I didn't go on to see Harry. Harry just laid there and just sat there for a minute and then got up. Yeah. So, so there's no reason for him to have to come off. So he didn't get any treatment on the pitch. Mm. So, uh, but now the referee has said, bring the trainer on and now you've got to go off. And that yeah. just doesn't make sense to me because yeah. Harry's going, there's nothing wrong with me. Yeah. He got a ball in the face. It's probably not the first time. I think the only kind of... Well, now Harry's not coming off. So this is a very confusing couple of minutes there. But do you know what's going on? I think he was just seeing stars for a second, so the ref just wanted him to have a quick drink, yeah. getting her on to have a drink, and he's all right now. He's shocking off, and he's back on his feet. Which is good to see, which is what we want, you know. We don't we don't like concussed footballers um, from either side, really, in all seriousness. But the game now resumes. Uh, it's up in the air, snuggling play it long towards the Earth back line. The 11 tries his best to bring it down. And now, oh, he's given a foul against the Earth Dan. As you can hear, Snodland aren't happy with that decision, and I think even Adam Woodward thinks that's a bit of a tricky one. But it remains uh, a one-nil after a kind of what two minutes, minute and a half of muddleness. Yeah, it's been a bit tetchy two minutes, but uh, you know, hopefully it will calm down and we'll get back to playing football now. Yeah, these are the kind of decisions when you're a referee, you think, Do you know what? I just need something to calm the game down get back to normal, hit that reset switch and then go from there. But it remains 1-0 to Earth Town on a very, very cold and windy day um, in South East London. And Ollie Milton finds the back of the net to make it 2-0, which if you're Snodland again, you'd be a bit cheesed off because that was the free kick that nobody knew why that free kick was given to us. But we've scored from it. Yeah, can't complain. Uh, Ollie won't complain. It's the first time he's had a brace in a long time, so yep. that's good. Um, but yeah, uh, and I think um, once again, Harry Taylor did really well in the area, yeah. nodded it down, yeah. took it round a player, took it round another player, um, and it was just getting away from him. But uh, but Ollie um, basically took it off his toes, fair stuck play, it in the net. Fair play to Ollie there. Um, yeah. you, you're coming on Harry Taylor, which I agree with, but he's done well to beat it offside trap and all because that flag could quite easily gone off and you quite easily trailed offside. Yeah, I, I was half expecting it to go up to be honest. Yeah, yeah, you could see the way that the Snodland defence were looking at the flag as well. So. Um, that the Dockers doubled their lead um, in the driving seat and as I say that the um, recent progressive football we've been playing has paid off but also so is the confusing refereeing yeah. so uh, fair, fair play there it is now 2-0 to the home side up the Dockers no he was well offside Fini finish, it, finish, your, finish your famous phrase what you've said so far well if they had a finisher we'd be in trouble yeah, yeah. 
Um, a ball is played through to a player who appears to be at least a yard offside. At least a yard, and um, maybe more. But it's the cliche. Tom, as a father of an under nine parent, what do I normally say to the kids when? Um, what, what must they play to? The whistle. And was there a whistle? There was no whistle. Was there a whistle? There was no whistle. Was there a flag for offside? I saw a flag. But the flag stayed down. Well, he comes back on well, he didn't give it. So either the flag went up and the ref ignored it, or it didn't go. But anyway, that's no, beside the point. Definitely. And, um, and what happened, the, uh, he was one-on-one, -on -one, straight through with him and McGee. Very similar to Dyer's one previously. Yeah. And... Uh, and at least Dyer managed to hit the post. Yeah, yeah. He didn't even hit the post. Yeah. It went a foot wide. Yeah, he slipped it just wide, which yeah. uh, which is, let's be honest, a huge little free of time. It is, because they would have been back in the game, and uh, with the wind going in that their direction, um, I can see a lot more long balls in our future. Yeah, yeah. and near if Town are now down to 10 players because of um, a Simbin incident, which you don't see a lot, um, obviously away from grassroots, but um, a Simbin yellow card has been shown to Irif down to 10 for another few moments. Um, and has Simbin lost? Five minutes? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Well, it's actually dependent on the length of the game. Um, you know, because of junior football and stuff. Um, Erif Town now with a free kick on the left-hand side. They win it in the middle of the park. A yellow card is shown to Snodland. James Dyer stands over the ball. One arm up to say where he's going to play it. Curls it in nicely. Brought down. Ollie Milton then gets the flick on. He flicks it over towards the far post. Wow, this wind is strong. Um, now it goes down to Snodland. It's cleared well. He plays it now. Crossfield ball. Lovely crossfield ball to the 10. Who's running now towards Dyer. But Dyer actually just standing there doesn't let him go anywhere, which is quite nice. So uh, good stuff. Snodland knocking the ball around, but no real penetration. A long, long, long ball out wide. Again, held up by the wind. That's how that's managed to stay in. The 11 now attacking here with Town's back line. But they're struggling to get through. The 15 now, is that a 15 or a 5? If there's a 5 in there somewhere, 15. So now he plays the ball out to the 10. The 10 looks for it, plays it back. Cross comes in. Well blocked there. Well blocked. Well defended by Eric Tan there. Really, really well done. Not allowing Snodland anything. It remains 2-0 to the Dockers. I've been summoned. What did I miss? Uh, we had a good chance. Uh, um, uh, that didn't come to anything. Um, then we had a little bit of a... Scrap played some good football. Ryan put a great cross in, just went straight across the goal. <laughs> no one, no one gambled on, on it. Um, and uh, and then they defended one, which we're never going to see again. It's gone like it literally, it took off over there. Yeah. It probably ended up on the back of a lorry on the dual carriageway and is on its way at Hartlepool. Yeah, <laughs> fair play. So, so, uh, Speaking of Hartlepool and Northern Towns, how are we finding the game? It's. It's, it's all right, you know. We're doing all right. We're shutting up shop now. We're not yeah, letting them the do defense anything. is is working really well today. Yeah, yeah uh, they're very... not letting much 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 down there. Well, in the a... second half, anyway. The first half they let for a, for a few through. First half wasn't as great, was it? But they tidied that up now. Yeah, and yeah. it seems to be going all right. I think I just heard the referee say that there's about nine minutes to go. Um, so yeah, I mean, all goes well. Let's not jinx it like we uh, happened against Lid, but. All going well, we should be okay. That must be nine minutes included added time. Yes, because yeah. we're only about a minute away from what should be full time. Boys, well, it's half. Oh, uh, Dyer's just played a ball through now, and the oh. Snodland keeper just collects it. Boys, well, it's, it's half past nine now um, with old money, so it shouldn't be too much longer left. Snodland do well to. The ball goes out for a throw. Um, I thought Adam Wood was going to tackle the player, didn't it? You? <laughs> it did look for all its all its as well. It's like he was going to just side him down. Yeah, so, uh, he wouldn't do that. He's a lovely man. Of course he is. Lovely man. Um, and the 15 hours of uh, bats coming. Is that uh, Jack Holland coming on? Yeah, she's putting up five minutes now. No, she's not. She's doing, doing a substitution oh, no, ball. So James Dyer leave the field for... Does that look like Jack Holland's here? He just tripped up when he... Uh... Yeah, that's Taz. Oh, that's Taz, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Uh, well, Dyer! We'll play Dyer. Don't worry, Taz. We'll, we'll ignore the fact you tripped over. Um, coming off the bench. He'll, he'll come looking for us. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, bound to. But yeah, um, that's what we need. We need Taz in that midfield to just uh, sort of sharpen up a little bit, yeah. and strengthen it, and and just don't. And to be to be fair, just do be solid. Just be solid and do what he does so well. He doesn't let many people through, um, and he's he's a good little defensive unit to the midfield. So he's very much none shall pass. No, you shall not pass indeed. Um, the ten on the left hand side for Snodland is now running down the line towards Tom Ash. Tom Ash does well to stay with him, but then he just creeps past. Cross comes in, and JJ reads really. 
really, really well and gets the ball out. They're appealing for a handball, but that would have been the harshest handball I've probably ever seen in my life. It remains 2-0 to Air of Town. A couple of minutes to go now, and do you know what? It's one of those games, in hindsight, looking back, you sort of think, do you know what? It's a real job done game. What did I say at the beginning? What did I say right at the very beginning? What did I want? I wanted a nice, easy 2 0. Well, it wasn't nice, easy, but nice. it's 2 0. It's a nice, simple, basic. Oh, well, two now, nil. He's, now he's booked Harry Taylor for time wasting. So, uh, yeah, it's certainly interesting. And now he's, now he's now sending he's the yellow to, card to one of uh, our coaching staff, um, which isn't nice. And oh, he wants his name as well. So, uh, it's another fine. Yeah, but he's just told him his name's M. Mouse. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Because now the copyright's gone from it. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. It, Willie. It, do you know? Willie. Yeah. It, do you know what? It's not been a. Um, it's not been one of those that's certainly been easy, but it's uh, it's job done, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, at the moment, you know, there's what? Three three minutes left, or two, three minutes left of injury time. Yeah. I can't see him scoring three between now and then, or even two to take it to pens. I mean, don't get me wrong. I probably shouldn't have said that right no. this very second, but. No. Um, but no. the long throw now goes up the left hand side to Harry Taylor. Snodland managed to keep it in quite nicely there. Um, here if Tan just run the boxing uh, the ball into the corner. And uh, yeah, it, it's just staying in that area there. And again, like you say, Rob, we can't really see them doing much from these locations and these areas. And we can't really see them soaring. Taz again um, on the field really being a, being a bit of a pain to the opposition, you know, putting them off, make sure they can't play the ball. And the ball gets played out wide. Tom Ash and. Oh, that is a really ridiculous red handball decision, but we don't argue with referees. Um, somehow, we, somehow Tom I Ash... I it was written into the law. Somehow, but... Tom Ash has kicked a ball into a player who's half a yard away from him. He's ricocheted off his knee, Tom Ash not realising. Hit him in the hand, which is in the natural position, yeah. and the ref gives a handball. But it is what it is. Um, again, not long now to go. Snodland will probably just launch this in and try their very best to, to get some kind of con- consolation fin- goal, consolation finish. Um, but, yeah, job done. I think, in truth, we've got away with a couple. Um, the one they hit the crossbar especially and the one that we missed or they missed from when they were one-on-one. But, again, you can argue Dye missed a one-on-one, which we should have scored. Yeah, so they all, they all cancel each other out. Yeah, basically. Um, at the end of the day... I think both teams have been... I mean, they had a really good first half. They haven't had a very good second half at all. Um, We didn't have a very good first half, even though we ended up going in 1-0. We've had a much better second half and been much more in control, despite playing with 10 men for 10 minutes. Absolutely. And we've had no toddlers running on the pitch doing pitch invasions. Exactly. But then again, mine was left at home, so that could be why. Um, So, yeah, job very well done. And if nothing else happens, we'll just say that now... Thank you for listening. Um, it will be 2-0 to Irrith Town and Ollie Milton with an air header there, which was quite funny. Um, oh, there it is. There's the final whistle. Yay! So Irrith Town make the semi-final of the Kent Senior Trophy and we will catch up with Adam Woodward. Up the Dockers indeed. Um, up the Dockers. Up the Dockers. We will catch up with Adam Woodward shortly. For the second season in a row. Yeah, I think it's fully deserved to be honest on that. I thought we were really, really good. Um, we made a Few changes, obviously Teddy Green coming for his debut. I thought he was exceptional at left back. Um, Jake and Ollie Wide thought they were really good, and obviously Dyer playing in the eight I thought was exceptional as well. So, look, I think it's a positive across the board. Um, it's nice to be in a semi-final, but it's, it means nothing really. We, we, we've got our targets for the season. Semi-finals great, but we got there last year and we went out, so we need to go one better this year. Not easy conditions, no one either. No, it's like. Bit windy, wouldn't it? But look, we said about it, um, when we came here, no one would want to come here on a two. It's an horrible place to come, indeed. So, um, we made it horrible tonight. It was scrappy. I thought the game, the referee spoiled the game, if I'm honest. He was two stopping start, stop and start. I think he gave five or six yellow cards out, one of them for a tackle. So, I think we got four yellow cards for someone taking a throw. But look, it was scrappy, it was horrible, but it was nice to come out on the end of a with the win. Word for Ollie because those two goals well taken. Yeah, recently. listen, he's been um he's he's not been on the side recently. We had a little bit of a chat last week, and yeah, well, what put he obviously I think he wrote his car off on the way here, so he arrived late. So um he's not had a, I think he's a, he's had a good night, scored two goals, but he's wrote his car off, so he might get a new one. So um, but no, listen, he's he's done really well. He's worked way off the ball, his exception. So was Jake. And you brought in Omar Akani tonight as well. Yep. That's a little bit about him. Yeah, he's a, a, a winger from Beersted. Um, he's got good energy, and I think we needed to add, add to the um, 
add to the team, add to the squad. Obviously, we lost uh, Macy Malian to here from Belvedere, and good luck to him. So, yeah, there might be one or two more additions coming in. We've got a hell of a run coming up. We've got, what, I'd say 18 league games left, I think it is. So, it's semi final, this quarter final, the other cup. So, we've got a lot of games to play. Now, until the end of the season, so maybe one or two more um, additions. So, might be a case of sitting down with uh, the chairwoman and um, discussing if we can bring any more players in. And now on to Kennington Saturday, another big game. Yeah, look, tonight is irrelevant. If we go to Kennington and lose Saturday, then tonight means nothing. We've got to, um, we we want to be in and around, then pull off positions towards the end of the season. So we have to win games of football. And um, unfortunately, we've not been winning in the league recently. So it was a nice break tonight, but we need to go and win Saturday. It, it, no ifs or buts about we, we have, um It's a little bit of a gap starting to appear between us and the playoff positions. And if we were allowed to come too much, it might be uh, too much for us to call back. So, yeah, we've got fully focused on the league on Saturday. We'll be in Thursday. We will train. Nothing will change. And then um, we move on to Saturday.